Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today, welcome to something a little bit different. Um, you're probably used to seeing the USA tournament videos, but there's another tournament starting up right now, um, the GeoGuessr World Cup. And I decided I would participate and record my footage. So, it, it should be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I did not play season one. This is the second time it's been organized. But it, it's going to be interesting, I think. Um, so a little bit about how it works. You can see there are 12 groups here total uh, with four players each, so 48 total players. Um, and these are the standings and the the countries that everyone else is representing. Now, an important thing here, uh, you'll notice that I'm representing Canada, which is weird because, well, I'm not Canadian. Um, but the point of this is not to choose your home country um, because there will be a lot of people who are the same nationality. The point is to choose a country that you feel pretty comfortable playing in because every knockout match will be played as a two-leg thing where you play one leg in your home country and one leg in the country of the person you're playing and the aggregate score will be the like the final score of the match so you want to pick a country that you, you're pretty good in um, and I tried to get the USA but somebody else who picked the USA as their first choice <clears throat> sorry was actually given the USA and I was given my second choice of Canada, which is fine. I mean, I'm obviously significantly less strong in Canada um, than the U.S., but still, I mean, I think <clears throat> given most of the players here are European, hopefully I'll still have a leg up um, on most of them in, in Canada, but we'll see. Anyway, this is just a... I don't expect to go super far in this tournament anyway, but... I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see something a little different because the Reddit League still doesn't start up for uh, another few weeks or so. So the group stages though are played on like random country maps. So I don't have to play in Canada yet. Um, I will show you the matchup. It is here. I'm playing Estonia here and the map is Portugal. So um, my group Orpheus uh, is a very strong player, Division I Reddit League player. I'm very scared of him. Zatomo is a Division IV Reddit League player. He's one of the casters for the for the esports channel. He's probably around my level, I think, in terms of, of skill, so that, that could go either way. And then the person I'm playing today, this Nell Frederick, um, I don't know who this is, and I... I didn't actually check how he finished in the qualifiers, so I don't know how strong he is. But I think if I want to get out of this group, this is probably a match that I'm going to want to win. Because, again, I, I don't see myself beating Orpheus unless I get really lucky. So, um, without further ado, since I'm running a little bit tight on time uh, before the deadline, I am going to get into the match. And the issue is I really haven't practice Portugal very much <laughs> so I don't I don't know a whole lot of what to expect I haven't like learned area codes or whatever so yeah, I don't know hopefully my opponent isn't a, <laughs> a Portugal expert I don't know if my opponent is Estonian or where the heck he's from but um, yeah hoping for a win here but not a big deal if I lose and last thing I will mention is I will be kind of out of town for the next couple weeks, so it's possible that I won't be able to record my second and third group stage matches. But if I do make it out of the group stage in, like, you know, in the first knockout video or whatever, I will let you know what happened in those last two matches. So, yeah, I will try to record them if I can, but no guarantees. Um, but at least you'll get to see the, the first match of the tournament. And I'm pretty sure my opponent has played, so there shouldn't be any worries about uh, me not knowing how he did once the video ends. All right, three minutes per round, Portugal. Let's do it. Okay, city. Uh, okay. Already what looks like an area code. 
but I don't know it. What's that say? Um, hmm. Okay. I haven't heard of those places. Masama Keluz. Let's go this way. What do you say? Keluz? Okay, that's definitely a place. Oh. Okay, this place is just called, I think, Keluz. Uh, once again, I have not heard of that, so... Uh, hopefully it doesn't cause me trouble. IC16, I think, is probably a road number. Oh, man. <laughs> Amadora, Pandau. Oh, why is the map small? So can I find Kiluz, or is this going to be a problem? Yeah, this could be bad. Maybe it's near Lisbon. Um, okay, this... Uh, let's try going the other way. Come on, let's not screw this up. Villa, Villa Park. We are not in Birmingham, that's for sure. Uh, Amadora, was that a place? Amadora? Might be. Maybe Kaluz is a neighborhood. Centro, that sounds good. Uh, just... Oh, dear. Could Amadora be findable? Amora. Ah, oh, God, there's so much to read. Oh, my, wait, Amadora's just here. <laughs> okay, good thing I zoomed in. Um, Keluz is here. Okay, let's see if I can find the street name at the start. We have 20 seconds to go. Do you have street signs in this country? <laughs> okay, let's see. Coming off to the north, there's a bridge. Um, uh, what do I do here? Maybe this, like there, something like that. Should be close enough. Yeah, that, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Looks like pretty much nobody managed to pinpoint. I was better than Orpheus in terms of score, so that's fine. Uh, well, my opponent's not in the top three, which is good news, but who knows where he is. But that's a solid first round. Really glad I was able to find the place there. Although I might have guessed near Lisbon anyway, just because, I don't know, it's safe. Boy, this looks uh, tougher. Very hilly. Gen 2. I do. This could be Madeira, actually, or uh, or the Azores. Okay, that says Madeira. <laughs> I'm gonna trust that and assume that's where we are. Now, if my opponent doesn't figure that out, that's gonna be bad news for him. Information is scarce here. Makes sense. I mean, Madeira is a very mountainous volcanic island. Um, let's see. I mean, what, what are we looking at? The coast was sort of to the south. I wonder if that's just Funchal down there. Um, could be. Could be one of these, like, could be this road here, or... I mean, it could be a lot of stuff. There's... It's a pretty sizable island, so... I'm gonna look, see if I can find any better information. But I'm glad I found the word Madeira, at the very least. Okay, this looks like something. Come on. Camara de Lobos. Okay, that's useless. Do we have a street name? Jardim de Serra. Uh, I can't read the 
Oh wait, Camarada de Lobos. <laughs> it's not useless at all. Um, Jardim de Serra. Good. Uh, so we're up here somewhere. This might be very difficult to pinpoint. But we're... I wonder what inter intersection we're at right now. Like something like this, maybe. So we might have started on this road. Um, just don't know if I'm going to find anything here. Ugh, Gen 2 makes it impossible to read anything. Okay, again, I'm not going to pinpoint, but I'm close, and I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm not looking for a 5k on every round or anything, so... Yeah, let's try right there. Again, solid. I'll take it. And, I'm now... Wow, I'm on the same score as Orpheus, and the third place person is more than a thousand points lower, so that's, that's good news. Let's keep this up. Okay. Not too remote, but this... Oop. This could be difficult. Jose Almeida. Uh, Juncal could be a place. I don't know. Um, apologies if I'm butchering the Portuguese uh, pronunciations, which I'm sure I am, but I doubt there are any Portuguese speakers watching this video anyway, so hopefully I'm not offending anyone too badly. Um, what do we have here? What do you say? Nothing. Uh, no, there's nothing there. Come on, where's the info? Praia, the Praia. I think that means beach, which means this is probably coastal. Uh, what does this say? Come on. No. Man. Even if I found the town name, I'm not sure how big the town is going to be. This is where it would be helpful to know like area codes or something. Actually, okay, so we have the coast here. And if anything, it's to the south. Slash east, which is weird. So we might be on the south coast, which is actually pretty useful information in terms of narrowing it down. Because, of course, the west coast of the country is a whole lot longer. Sorry if there's any noise. Um, <laughs> there is a, a dog. Hopefully. Hey, stop it. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, what do we got? Oh, Ilya. Oh my goodness. Ilya Tercera. That's the, that's the Azores. <laughs> oh man. Oh uh, wait, which crap, which island is that? Is that this one? Yeah. Oh God, I'm really happy I figured that out. <laughs> because I was about to put it on the south coast of mainland Portugal. Uh, Frango Asorabes. Uh, I don't know what that means, but... I mean, we're on the coast, so we should be... probably just put it here, in the largest urban area. Ah, that wasn't great, was it? But... It wasn't terrible either. It was this, yeah, Praia. I should have looked for the word Praia and figured out it was over there. That's fine though. Um, oh boy. Okay, you know what? Sorry about the noise. I'm gonna deal with the dog. Give me one second. Okay, back with you. 
Sorry for the interruption. Here we go. All right, we have Gen 4, which is a welcome site after the Gen 2 island rounds. Um, the Maya? Maya? Is that a place? Could be. Uh, were those signs? Oh, uh, boy. Am I going in a bad direction here? Maybe. Let's see. Uh, tunnel. Can we get a highway number or something? Could use one of them. Okay, I have gone in the wrong direction. Let's try the other way here. This isn't the other way, is it? This way. Still can't really afford to screw up too badly, so it's important that I figure this out. Figure this out, I should say, since apparently I'm Canadian for the duration of this tournament. Uh, Maya. I think Maya is the place. I keep seeing... Oh, Vil uh, you know what? Maya could be like a region or something. Villar de Luz. Looks like... Oh, no, it is Maya, though. Well, that says Porto, though, so... Finally, a place I've heard of. Um, Porto... Maya. Nice. Uh... Is Vilar de Luz a thing? It's probably quite small. Uh, what do I look for here? Castillo de Maya. So we're definitely in or near Maya. Um, A3, A41. Um, where are those? There's A4, A41, yeah. God, how do I pinpoint this? Castello do Maya is there. Somewhere, it's to my west? It might be out here. This kind of area. Uh, God, I don't know how to pinpoint this. I'm out of, I'm out of time, but... Again, I should be close enough to stay in the lead here, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, oh, well, there it was, Vila de Luz. It was a bit further out than I expected, but uh, it's fine. Orpheus managed to uh, 5k it, but... All right, just got to finish strong, and I should be guaranteed a win here. Uh, okay, this is not promising. Watch this be like the Azores again. It'd be crazy if three out of the five rounds were on islands. Povoa Palyasa. Nope. No way I'm going to find that. Now this could be better. Okay, Funda Fundao? Was that one of the... No, you know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, hold on, let me check these islands to make sure that... Okay, I don't think we're on the islands. Um, where are we, though? Mata da Raina. Castello Branco. Ugh. Oh, what are these places?
I don't know where to look. These places could be tiny. I a road number would be so helpful right now, but Taylor Fundal. Do I just look for this? Maybe I do. Just gonna hope I find Fundal or Fatela. something. Ah, uh, boy, this is probably not the best way to go about this round. Well, there was something Daranya, but it wasn't that, was it? Okay, well, this has not gone according to plan. But I'm going to kind of just hedge in the middle and hope that I'm okay. If it's one of the islands, I'm going to be very, very, very sad. Oof. Okay, yeah, pretty rough points-wise. Yeah, Fundao was there, and I don't know how I missed it. I guess I wasn't looking that far north, but... Well, I can't believe I didn't find that. Okay, it's a tough way to end it, but hopefully still a win. Uh, my opponent's called, like, Frederick or something, so... Yeah. That looks good, and... Uh-oh. Has my opponent not played? Or is my opponent this... This number five person? Well, now I have no idea. Um, Orpheus absolutely knocked it out of the park, which is no surprise. Zatomo was a little bit below me because he did not figure out, I think, the Madeira round. Um, Shumi is definitely not in my group, so that's not the person. Like, he, he definitely is not, I have not lost to Shumi. Let me quickly check. He should be called Nell Frederick, one, two, three, four, in GeoGuessr. So. I'm a little confused that his score hasn't shown up yet. But what I will do is I will leave a comment. I will either let you know how my opponent does when my opponent plays, or I will let you know that this person here was actually my opponent, um, in which case I will have won. Uh, this could be my opponent, in which case I'm lucky to win because, again, Madeira was the only thing that, that tripped them up. But anyway, no matter. I'll let you know in a comment on the video when I know what happens. And I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different from all the, the U.S. rounds that you've been seeing. Uh, but for now, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I may not see you until the knockout stages of this tournament, if I even make it there at all. But I'll be sure to let you know what happens um, next video I post. Next non-Washington's tournament video that I post. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.